testing testing one two three and we are live what's up guys george the cloud here my name is jorge aka george and welcome to the channel welcome everybody uh feel free to subscribe if you're enjoying the videos i have uh you know just been doing this for a few days about a week now and i have a lot more videos in the works so a lot more content dropping soon and uh posting every day guys even uh, check out the shorts and uh, the videos if if you enjoy the um, the beatboxing and loop station reactions and comment if you'd like uh, something else to be reacted to. But today we're checking out In the Zone by Trung Bao and Chihuahua Beatbox official video. Now I have uh, I've seen Trung Bao before a few times. He's not um, very active in the battle scene as I understand but uh, i guess he's he's kind of doing his own thing he's doing uh music with uh chihuahua i think they uh i think they married recently i'm pretty sure i saw that on uh, instagram but um yeah interested interested to um check this out i haven't seen it came out one day ago so very recent and uh yeah let's let's get into it uh i would suggest grabbing some popcorn filling up your water and putting on your headphones. Let's go. On oh, this video does have a flash warning, so if you're if you're um yeah prone to like uh, flash like um. I don't even know if you're if you don't like flashes then then this is a warning. There's so much going on. Oh, 
Wow. Wow, wow. Okay. Uh, first things first. We like. We so up oh, already subscribed. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, I'll have a link of the or original video down in the description and you can check it out and support the original creator. So this was uh, this was interesting. I will say that there was a lot going on with the uh, visuals. Uh, it was very it felt um, it felt more like a movie in the sense that usually i mean if it's a beatboxing video you're of course gonna focus on the beatboxing like the track is the uh the main objective but in this case i felt like i was more captured by the um video itself because the um the beatboxing kind of i wouldn't say it it uh, stayed the same but it didn't vary that much it felt more like a soundtrack to have in the background. So this, mel this felt more like a video production. Uh, like if you're watching a movie, like a scene from a movie, and then you kind of notice that there's music going on in the background, but you're focused on the visuals, um, which is it's good, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's different. And I felt like there, there was so much going on that it kept you, it was meant to keep you like, entertained at all times like there's no like if you look down you're gonna miss like 10 shots so it was very captivating and um i wonder where they are because it starts off like uh normally you know hanging around in the city i really have no idea where this even is uh, i'm not even sure what where uh, trunk bow and chihuahua are from somebody comment down below uh, if you know, because I'm actually not sure. I, I think they're from Vietnam, I want to say. But uh, I don't want to get it wrong. So so comment down below if you know. And yeah, they're just like hanging around in the city, in a park. And then it goes into this, like... And they go into like the Matrix. Into literally like this uh, tornado of effects. And um, it reminds me a little bit of the 90s. It has like this retro vibe, 90s, cyberpunk kind of feel to it with the different effects. And I'm not even sure wh what uh, they're using for this. Looks like some parts are made in AI, like this right here. This looks AI generated where um, the shapes are kind of not super solid. They're kind of a little bit blurry and the color around it is very diffused uh, in a sense similar to an oil painting and that's that's what i uh, kind of like this part right here this looks very van goghish impressionism style painting but uh i believe this is ai generated whereas some other parts uh feel more like video editing effects mm. like all these transitions where they go from like different styles i think that's what's cool about it i mean i myself i'm i'm an artist i'm an illustrator and painter and that's maybe why i was more focused on the visuals because uh it was very interesting to see the different art styles and it felt like an evolution of art in a way um that's that's kind of what I got from it. Like this this part right here, this feels like art that was from around two thousand years ago, and then you get like this uh, super like filtered grainy image that um, to me screams like nineties. And then you go back to like this. Even the shot guys appreciate the uh, details, like the setup here. This is pretty cool and uh you just gotta take into account the amount of work that goes into a video like this all the different uh, editing the um like the mentality you have to have the preparation to uh, make all this work it's it's a lot and uh so i do appreciate it and i think it came out really cool very um visually appealing 
and captivating. So that's how uh, what I'll say about it. If you guys want me to, oh, and even the uh, ending, I like this ending here where it feels like a movie. That's that's what I was saying. It's like a lot of um production behind it. So that's why I'm, I was not too focused on the beatboxing itself. I was um you could say in the zone. And uh, I'll leave it at that. So if you enjoyed the reaction, guys, make sure to um, give it a like, subscribe, recommend, share, ring the bell, do a flip. Till the next. Thanks for watching.